Ladies and gentlemen, keep from Air Repair Autos. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hunt down and find those devices in your car that may be draining your car battery. This is not a normal occurrence. It happens when a component has gone bad in one of the worst ways it stays on. It's draining your battery and killing it, requiring you to get a jump start. So I'm gonna show you how to get that done. Don't forget, new video every Monday. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get to it. Some of the top seven systems that cause battery drain problems are one, your seat control module, power seat motor. Number two, your audio system or your AGW slash amplifier. The third most common thing could be your radio slash CD changer navigational unit. After that comes in the lights, including your light in the glove box, heated seats, those modules are known for also causing battery drain. Your proximity key for those keyless starts and also your aftermarket alarm. Before you start troubleshooting your battery drain problems, make sure you have a fully charged battery. Make sure you have the radio code written down. You may be required to enter the radio code after this test. Uh, you may also be required to perform a window and sunroof synchronization. I have a video on that. I'm going to be using a voltmeter. I'm going to set it to milliamps. Plugs should be set in such a way if your voltmeter has a amperage, mine is just voltage and amperage and some alligator clips. In this case I'm using the Mercedes ML350 so I'm going to start by putting the front seat all the way to the front because the battery is under the front seat. Open the back seat, remove the mat. So you're gonna remove the cover, exposing the battery compartment. Also, you can bring this carpet up and lifting, there's a little tab right here where my fingers is. Pop that tab up and you can then pull out this vent port. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this tab up and out. Remove this cover exposing the positive side. Alright ladies and gentlemen at this point you're gonna remove your key from the ignition or the starter switch. If you have a vehicle that has no ignition switch but a push to start button Listen very carefully. You have to make sure that your vehicle's onboard electronics have a status zero. That means you turn off the engine, all electrical systems, radio, air conditioner, everything like that is off. Using the keyless go start stop button. Once you've done that, you must open the driver's door. And with the driver's door open, the vehicle Onboard electronics have a status of zero. That means they're completely off. You do that for both the ignition with the key and, and without the key. You leave that front driver's door open. All right, you must leave it open. That will ensure that all systems are basically off. So a voltmeter, you're gonna take the red alligator clip it's connected to the red probe on the voltmeter and I'm going to connect this alligator clip and connect that step one connect that to the positive terminal on the battery taking out 10 millimeter socket gonna loosen up the negative side the ground I'm going to put that in series. So we're just going to loosen that enough to get this off. And we're going to bring it out. So we're going to take the negative alligator clip, the black one, and we're going to connect it onto the battery, like so. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but it's on there. It's on there good. So I've connected the other end of the voltmeter probe, negative probe, and the alligator clip from the battery. 
to the terminal, completing the circuit. And if you look at the voltmeter, I see 2.77 milliamps. You should see a current draw of less than 0.1 amp or 100 milliamps. We're way below the 100 milliamps reading here. However, if you're seeing anything higher than anything over half of an amp, then you definitely need to continue hunting by removing fuses one at a time. As you remove each fuse, you should check the amperage reading on the multimeter. The multimeter reading is still high. Reinstall that fuse and go to the next fuse. Continue removing and reinstalling all the fuses one at a time until you pull the one that makes the multimeter reading drop to below 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps. Once the reading drops below that, you know that the circuit protected by that fuse is drawing too much current. Then look up on the fuse chart to find out which electrical system that fuse protects. For example, it may be the fuse of the C control module or your radio. And you will need to troubleshoot or replace that module. You may want to keep that fuse removed until you replace the defective parts that are causing the battery to drain. Move the alligator clip. Reconnected. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does is pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.